Similarly to the social approach, the learning approach explains how gendered behaviour is influenced by our environment through social learning theory and operant conditioning. Operant conditioning is the concept that behaviour is learned by consequence. If a behaviour is followed by reinforcement, it is more likely to be repeated, and if it's followed by punishment, it's less likely to be repeated. This includes gendered behaviour. For example, if a behaviour is considered appropriate for a person's gender, they may be rewarded for it and therefore more likely to do it again. However, if a behaviour is considered inappropriate for a person's gender, it may be ignored or even punished, making them less likely to repeat it. Operant conditioning therefore encourages boys to be boys and girls to be girls, as they are praised for different things according to what is considered acceptable behaviour for their gender. The idea that boys and girls are rewarded for different behaviour is called differential reinforcement. The learning approach also accounts for gendered behaviour through social learning theory, which is the concept that behaviour is learned through observation and imitation. A child is more likely to observe and imitate the behaviour of a model of the same sex. Therefore, gendered behaviour is learned from the parent of the same sex. Essentially, a boy is more likely to copy their father's behaviour and a girl is more likely to copy their mother's behaviour. They therefore learn what is considered appropriate for their own gender through this observation and imitation. Children are also more likely to imitate certain behaviour if they observe the model receiving a reward. This is called vicarious reinforcement. For example, if a girl sees her older sister being praised for playing nicely with a the doll, they are more likely to imitate them. Similarly, if they observe the model receiving a punishment for their behaviour, they are less likely to imitate them. For example, if a boy is bullied for playing with a doll, other boys are less likely to imitate this behaviour. Both operant conditioning and social learning theory can explain how gendered behaviour develops and how the distinction between what is considered masculine or feminine is strengthened. Various studies back up the idea that gendered behaviour is learned. For example, the Baby X study. This involved dressing a baby in stereotypically boys' clothes some of the time and girls' clothes at other times. Researchers then observed how different mothers interacted with the baby. They found that the mothers acted differently according to the gender they perceived the baby to be according to its clothing. This supports the idea of differential reinforcement. Another strength of the learning approach when accounting for gender is that it helps to explain how cultural perceptions of gender have changed over time. For example, it is now more common to see diverse gender identities in the media. So through social learning theory, the distinction between what is considered masculine or feminine is becoming less clear-cut. On the other hand, there are weaknesses to these explanations, as multiple studies suggest that differences in reinforcement for different types of gendered behaviour are not significant enough to have a strong impact. Finally, these theories underestimate the active role of children in their own gender identity, rather than passively accepting the gendered behaviour that is presented to them to imitate.